How much was like winning a national championship like part of your criteria? Uh, that, that was the number one criteria. Um, that's all we wanted to do for the national championship. And I had to let something to do, but that was our best chance to have an opportunity to do that. And uh, it was good to know where the final four was going to be. Can you talk a little bit? Kay said that you guys have been good defensively in the NCAA tournament by not letting your offense, when your offense is struggling, distract you from defense. He said that was a problem, I think, when you guys lost Miami State, that, left, that you guys let that happen. What's been the difference between those? How have you improved that, I guess, over the course of the season? Uh, just, just maturing um, as a team. Uh, we, we learned from our mistakes. Like you said, we just in Miami. If we weren't scoring, we stopped playing defense. So, uh, I have to get older as a team and understand what it takes to win. And we know that we could always have <coughs> our defense down. As a freshman, is that the toughest adjustment on that side of the ball, learning how to defend and communicate and do all that stuff? It surprised you at all? Um, it's all tough. I, I, don't, I can't think of what was the toughest, but that is definitely one of the tough things to, to adjust to. Why is that different? So much uh, different to something? It's just new, new things to, to learn and new things to do. Uh, from my position, um, in high school, I didn't really have to worry about defending somebody on my position out of my size. Uh, and we just uh, kind of in the pain uh, with my team itself. What impact has <coughs> the fact that you played this in the state for so long ago have on your preparation for this week? Um, we got better um, when we played Michigan State, and they did too, even though they might have lost. Um, they're a different team, so are we. So um, that's just a game that, that was part of our journey, and uh, it's going to be a good team we're playing um, this Saturday. So looking forward to it. I'm trying to talk about journeys. Uh, as a guy who has dreamed about you know playing this tournament mm -hmm. and winning national championships, getting to Final Fours, has this you know been what you expected these these last couple of weeks, or are there been anything that surprised you about the journey? Um, you just don't realize. You don't see all the things going uh, behind the scenes. You know all the ups and downs leading up to leading up to the final four. Um, you kind of like a roller coaster ride for us this year, and uh, it's just made us stronger. Uh, so you always see the glory. That's what you always imagine uh, as a kid, just being able to be on the big stage. But there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. When coach is recruiting you, how much does your goal of maybe one day playing in the NBA and those types of things, how much does something like that get discussed between you and coach during the recruiting process? Um, very little. Uh, I felt uh, when, I went, when I went to the university, it was all about me uh, winning the national championship and being better to play. Uh, I, I didn't really think the NBA and all that really didn't affect my college team. But I mean, with coach, though, I mean, it's not something that's even really discussed much? or uh, Not too much. Um, I knew going into Duke, he's coached a lot of unique and great players. Um, so. Uh, that, that definitely brought me, helped brought me to do knowing that he's, he's close to the best of the best, and I feel like he gives us that level. Did you know before the season that your dad and your uncle and everybody would travel to as many games as they did? Was that something you guys had talked about or planned, it, or did they start kind of surprise you when they <clears throat> keep showing up on the road? Uh, I knew I supported my dad and my entire family was. I knew they would come to the majority of my games. Uh, it's great to have them at as many games they've been to. I think the only game surprised me was with Syracuse and we played at Syracuse. Um, I didn't know they were coming. My dad told me he wasn't coming and during the game I heard his voice, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> How many games did they miss? Did he miss? Uh, I'm not sure. Not, not, not that many, many, I don't not think. Not that many. Um, maybe four or five, not too many. Has he, uh, has he always made shirts like that or is that something <laughs> new this year? Uh, something new this year. Um, in high school, he was my coach, he was my junior and senior in high school, so. I was telling that I'd be a professional if he wanted to show you. I'm sure he would have liked to, but he's wearing a suit. Uh, do you do you kind of look up in, in the stands before a game to see what kind of shirt he's wearing, or do you know ahead of time what what he's going to be on? I don't know. I think he's had yeah so many different shirts, and my uncle and my and I think my sister is bringing one um, down in Indianapolis. I think they kind of ruined it for him. I think he's bringing a shirt with like me and diapers. So um, <laughs> that should be a cool shirt to see. Other than the diapers, you like them. Uh, I enjoy them. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really used to them. What, yeah, what do you see from Marshall in practice? He goes against you a lot, and he works hard, according to Coach, and does everything that's asked of him. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean he gets a lot of playing time or see, people see his good moments. What do you see from him and how he works, and what does that say to you? Uh, he's a consistent hard worker. Uh, he never takes any days off. And he's gotten me better from him since I started on campus. Um, he's somebody that, that I've been able to battle with every day, and he's my size, um, seven foot, and he's super strong. So he's really improved me, and he's always ready. He's had some big games for us this year, and he's just always ready to play.